Hello techies. Welcome to Microsoft Power Automate Tutorials. This is module three, create a flow in Microsoft Power Automate by using templates. In this module, we will learn how to create our first flow in Microsoft Power Automate by using templates. There are different ways to create a flow. One of the way is through templates. I will show you how it is. First of all, we'll go through the scenario, what kind of flow that we are going to create. If you see, we are very familiar with the Facebook and Twitter, correct? So we are posting our, you know, tweets in Twitter, as well as we are posting our comments and all these things in our Facebook. So how can we both, how can we create a flow by using our Power Automate? Let me switch to Google Chrome and sign in HTTP colon double slash flow dot microsoft dot com. I'm already there in the URL. And if you see over here, I'm in the home. There are the lot of templates, future templates collection that we are having. As I said, there's a lot of, we can see there's a lot of templates are available based on the, you know, sales team and, uh, you know, productivity, development, software development, HR team, marketing team, classroom. There's a lot of templates you can find it. Right now, what we are going to do, we are going to create a flow by using our templates. But there are the different ways. I will First of all, I will show you what are the ways that we have to create a template. If you see on my screen, on the left hand side, that we will find my flows, create and template. By using these three, you can create a flow. First of all, Normally, we'll use create template. Let me click on create template. There are ways, three ways to make a flow. You can see over here, there's a blank or there. What I'm, first thing is a from, start from the blank. You can create automate flow, instant flow, scheduled flow, business process flow. After that, if you want to create a flow from templates, you can use all these templates over there. And also you can see from a connector also you can go ahead and you can uh, you know create a flow so if you are selected the create tab then which one from your blank that you have to create you can go ahead and you can create it a flow from here but right now we're going to create a flow from the templates let me click on the templates you can see there's a lot of templates all flows featured shared with me approval related, button related, data collection, video, events and calendars, mobiles, and so many templates you will find it. Now what I'm going to do, my scenario is, I whatever the post I have created, whatever the post I have given in my timeline, I have to, you know, the same post has to be there in the Twitter, right? Now what I'm going to do, I'm searching for the popular templates like you know i'm just clicking on the facebook searching for the facebook and then clicking on enter you can see over here the facebook related templates you can see post my instagram photos to my facebook timeline create new tweets from facebook uh, facebook posts share my tweets on facebook there's a lot of templates you can find it out i will give you what are the scenarios that we can go ahead and we can do that now what is our scenario when i have created a post create a new tweet from Facebook post when I have given a Facebook I have given some of the you know I have posted on my timelines and then the same post has to be there has to flow to the Twitter okay now I'm selecting this template you can see this template has been provided by the Microsoft and it is automated and this is the ID let me click on that this is the one of the sample one that I'm going to create sample flow that I'm going to creating it Based on that, you know, in future sessions that we'll know how to create a lot of flows based on our related tasks or related requirement, okay? Now, if you see, create a new tweets from the Facebook post and you can see the Facebook and the Twitter. So keep your Twitter and Facebook posts in sync with each other. Automatically, whenever you tweet every time, your post tweet every time, you post to your Facebook wall. Okay, whenever you are posting some, you know, post on your Facebook wallet, it automatically goes to your Twitter. How can we go ahead and how can we see this uh, post on Twitter when I have posted in Facebook? You can see this flow will connect to two things. One is Facebook, another one is the Twitter. 
first of all you need a facebook id i'm having a sample id and also i'm having a twitter account i'm just going to sign in if you click on sign in if you're already there in any facebook account whatever it may be that it will be automatically shown over there then just try to log in by in that account okay i'm already having one of the account that you know this is the sample account that what which you have i have already logged into the facebook account and then in the same way to the you know twitter also so i'm having a twitter account i'm just giving my credentials over there because of i have not logged in i'm just giving remember me and authorize up and now if you can see the both the things the facebook and the twitter has been connected so whenever i have created a post on the facebook it will tweets in the twitter automatically by using this flow okay and if you see the name is that you know create a new tweets on the facebook post and i'm going to create that flow by clicking on the create flow it will takes a little bit time to create it okay once you click on the create flow that you can find the details you can see create the flows name is that create new tweets from the facebook post this is the name if you want to edit you can go ahead and you can edit it the details you can see the flow name and the status is on when it has been created created on uh, you know november 13th that is nothing but today and you know that modified date the type is automated that is nothing but whenever there is a tweet uh, whenever there is a post happen on the facebook wall it has automatically has to tweet on our twitter that i will show you how it is okay and you can see the runs over here how many times this run has been applied on the particular flow that is all about and you can see the connections over here what are the connections that we have one is the facebook and the other one is the twitter and also if there are any owners that you can go ahead and you, you can edit the owners also this is now this is the entire flow so this is the entire flow which by the template we have been created now how can we see the what are the flows inside then you can click on edit over here you can see the connection between what are the things that has been created as part of the facebook template these two things will be applied the same way you can create by using the create also by using create tab you can create the same way but as of now you know i try to create the same thing by using without using the templates but the facebook is not found over there in my templates in my given create okay fine that is a different issue that we can check it out later if you want to rename this thing just double click over here and just you know i'm just renaming it facebook post i'm just giving the name as a facebook post and also you can see you, if you want to delete any kind of flow over here any kind of action you can go ahead and you can see the three dots over here you can go ahead and if you want to rename it anything you can select just rename it and then whatever you want to do over here you can type it in the same way if you want to add any comments you can go ahead and you can add the comments if you want to delete this connection you can go and delete the action then you can go ahead and you can delete the action and also if you want to give any connection just now i have given the facebook connection over here that you can find it over here and if you want to add many more connections or you know if you want to use any other connection then you are going to click on add new connection okay if you want to see the code what exactly has been written for this one just click on the peak code and you can find it out for the uh, entire code what is the code has been written you can see over here this is the code has been written for the uh, you know uh, for the facebook when there is the post and you can see the uh, shared facebook connection ids the triggers and also the parameters interval you can see for every 15 second the frequency it will run for every one minute this is the frequency what we have so whenever you have clicked on the run you know whenever you have posted something on the facebook it will takes one minute uh, you know to upload uh, to tweet in the uh, twitter okay this is done and i'm clicking on done if you want any steps new steps then you can go ahead and you can click on the new steps okay and if you want to save the entire flow that you can go ahead and you can save it over here or you know the below one also if you see the below one here also you can go ahead and you can click on the save and if you want to check the flow checker click on the flow checker you can see if there are any issues any errors any warnings that you have found it it will be shows over there 
I don't have any errors because I'm using no already selected template and I'm going to do that one. After completely creating a flow, if you want to test it, how can we go ahead and you can test it? You can see on the right hand side, there's an option called test. Okay, click on the test. So over here, there are two options. I will perform the trigger action or using from the previous one. There are no runs as of now on this flow. This is newly created so that I will perform the trigger action on this. Okay, I'm just selecting this option and then clicking on text. When you click on the test option, you can find this kind of thing. To see it work now, add a post to your Facebook timeline. This may take a few minutes. Now, what I will do, I'm going to Facebook. I'm just adding uh, in my timeline, hi, hi, welcome to Microsoft Flow. I'm just giving this thing, okay? When I click on the, you know, that post, click on the post, it has to come after one minute, it has to come to my uh, Twitter, okay? As of now, if you see, I don't have any kind of, uh, you know, related to this post. We'll see the history over here. Your flow has ran successfully, correct? So once it has been completed, it will come to here. Let me refresh it. You can see the output over here from Facebook. Hi, welcome to Microsoft Flow. This is where, you know, this trigger, uh, this flow has been working successfully. You can see your flow has been run successfully. Okay, now what I'm going to do, I'm going to close this. I'm going back to my Facebook once again, and I'm just tweeting, you know, just with the name, ha, welcome to Twitter. I'm just giving word here from the Twitter from Facebook. I'm just giving the, just giving the message over here and I'm going to click on post. Okay. So to check it out, this flow has been ran successfully or not. How can I check it out? Go to my flows. Okay. Select whatever the flow that you have, select that and click it on the, uh, you know, click on that post or the flow and you can see the runs over here. See the run last run was November 13, 11, 13 PM one minute ago. It has been succeeded. So as I said, the trigger is for one minute, right? We have to wait for one minute and then only we can see in this Twitter, we can see the post. Let me refresh right now. It's came or not. You can see till now it is not happened. Let's wait for one minute. Okay, and then we can see the same tweet over here. Now, if you see, when you click on all runs, that what are the runs has been completed, you can check it out in the run history. Okay, how many times this post has been succeeded, uh, completed successfully. Now, let me go to my Twitter. Let me refresh. Okay, I have already done the refresh. Now you can see, welcome to Twitter from Facebook. I have not posted this one directly in the Twitter. Whatever I have posted in the Facebook, that is in whatever the post on my timeline, Facebook timelines, it has been automatically posted over here or tweeted over here in this Twitter. I hope you understand how to create a simple Microsoft flow by using Microsoft Power Automate. In the same way, there are other scenarios also where you can go ahead and you can do the same way, like, you know, if you have the Instagram and you want to post the same photos on the Facebook, you can use the template or there you can see the template over here. And also if you want to create a new tweets as we have seen just now from Facebook to uh, Twitter and also in the vice versa, Twitter to Facebook also we can do by using the, you know, this template. And also if you have any videos you have published and it has to automatically publish on your timeline, Facebook timeline, you can use this template. And there are so many, many more templates are available from Microsoft Power Template. I hope you understand how to create a simple Microsoft flow by using Microsoft Power Template. If you have any queries related to this concept, please post them in the comment section. Thank you for watching Microsoft Power Automate tutorials. 
If you want to learn other RPA tools like Blue Prism, UiPath, Automation Anywhere tutorials, please follow youtube.com slash learning technologies. Please wait and see for the, my next tutorial on Microsoft Power Automate. Till then, bye-bye. Have a nice day.